Channel 2. This is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. It was quite a shock last week when an ammonia leak was responsible for the Houston Food Bank having to throw away millions of pounds of food, left shelves at one of the biggest nonprofits in Houston empty. What does that mean for the holiday season with thousands of families, like they do through the year, will be relying on receiving the food they get from the Houston Food Bank? Now what? With me to talk about what happened last week and the amazing way this Houston community is responding, Nicole Lander, who is the Chief Impact Officer for the Houston Food Bank. Good morning to you. Thank you for having me. Good morning. So how much food was thrown away and really what caused it? Why did it have to be thrown away? So ammonia is a contaminant. Um, it is a vapor that emits in air and unfortunately it was in the cooler where we had 1.8 million pounds of produce and perishable food items. Safety for us is our priority. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that the people we are distributing food to eat it. And so it's important for us, um, even though we are a sustainable organization that rescue food, to go ahead and do the right thing and put the food in the dump. And so that was tough. I know it had to be tough. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you throw that kind of food away, to give people a sense mm -hmm. of, of what the Houston Food Bank does, talk about the daily impact that your organization has across the region for so many families and individuals. Yes, thank you for giving us the opportunity. So we are the largest uh, food bank in the world, uh, both by our size and how much we distribute into the community. We serve 18 counties uh, and we have a network of partners that help us do this great work and actually put foods into the hands of the people that we all serve mm -hmm. um, of 1,500. And so those partners look like food pantries, meal sites, soup kitchens, and even schools and hospitals. Mm -hmm. So we're so grateful to our partner network. And so the food gets you get the food to them how do you get the food typically so we source food directly from farmers that are unable to sell it our local grocery stores we go to those back doors of our local grocery stores that you and I uh, shop in food mm -hmm. that they're unable to sell we rescue mm -hmm. um, and redistribute that to people in need and so those are our two primary sources of food we get in and that's an example of the partnership you have with so many folk in the community to help this yes. work yes as I know that a lot of times y you want people to either donate money mm -hmm. or non-perishables. Yes, or volunteer their time. And volunteer their time. <laughs> I've seen so many shifts of people yes. down there who really develop their whole volunteer system around being able to come down and work at the food bank. Absolutely. We make it fun. And so families with children, we take children six and up, can come and help and be involved in the process. They can even come and work at our kitchen, mm -hmm. help us scoop up the food that goes out to our after school and summer programs. It's a great experience. I noticed now that after the word came out about the ammonia leak and the destruction of the food, that the community, not only individuals, but many of your partners who you normally work with, are stepping it up even more, providing trailers for food and all those kinds of things. But well, what else are all of those partners doing to make it a lot easier to come back from this having to throw away so much food? You know, Houston Strong, uh, we saw this during, we're a disaster relief organization, uh, so we saw the same type of support uh, during the last major disaster. We have seen an increase in volunteers overnight. Uh, we've seen donors um, come in. We've seen trailers of food come in overnight. So we're just so gracious to the Houston community. And our partner network, who's resilient, they saw a disruption in, in their process because we weren't able to distribute at the level we normally do. They have even stepped up to help us during this time. Um, so we just can't thank them enough. So the grocery stores that are all involved, you know the ones that we're talking about, all of the grocery mm -hmm. stores in this region, mm -hmm. They've gone above and beyond yeah. to help do more than what they normally would do, correct? Uh, even more than they normally would, and they already are our larger supporter. Mm -hmm. And so even just stepping up to bring us truckloads of food overnight. What would you tell people who want to get involved? They've seen what's happened here. They realize you're getting back. You're getting back up, and I know that I was seeing things that uh, by Monday you'd hope to be back up to normal. Yes. I don't know. What, is that the projected hope at this point or what's out there in terms so of So Monday we'll be able to put food back in that cooler uh, that was damaged. Uh, we're on a path to refill that cooler. You know when you lose that m amount of food it takes time but the community has supported us so graciously so we're back we're operating we're still distributing food. Monday we'll get that cooler actually operational and put food inside. What do you want people to do if they want to help? 
uh, go to our website, HoustonFoodBank.org, click that volunteer button. We have volunteer shifts seven days a week, and we're able to accommodate you and your family. Uh, feel free to donate food or funds to our organization. And the food is non-perishable, not uh, Yes, vegetable. yes. Uh, and I will say that once you leave, once you go and volunteer there and you walk out, the feeling that you will have mm -hmm. is unlike many others that you get because you know how many people you're helping along Correct. the Correct. We do a good job of telling you how many meals you've helped produce that will be distributed right into the community. Very shrewd on you. <laughs> Very shrewd. Keeps those volunteers coming yes, back, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. Nicole, thank you so much. Thank you for having good us. Good luck in the week and the months ahead, especially yes. during the holiday season, but beyond as well. Thank we you so much it. Thank for you. all that you do.